I'm Adam Barrelet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. We're exploring the crystal polysite. So here's a couple of pieces of polysite, a bit of a raw piece and also a nice tumbled piece as well. Now you may not have heard of polysite before. It is a bit of a rarer, lesser known crystal. It's part of the zeolite family, which is an amazing family of crystals. Polysite gets its name after Pollux. Now you may have heard of Castor and Pollux. These were two brothers in Greek mythology. They were the gods of horsemanship and of sailing. So polysite is an amazing cleansing crystal. And when you have anything in your life that needs to be ripped out and banished and used, um, you know, totally kicked out when, with no chance of return, that's when you want to use polysite. So it's not one you use every day or wear every day, but when you have need for it, it's a really powerful crystal to have in your collection. So in this video, I want to dive into when you would use it, how you would use it, and when you've been working with it, what it's then going to open up for you as well. This is a really exciting crystal and I can't wait to tell you more about this amazing crystal we all call polysite. I consider polysite to be the most powerful crystal when it comes to cleansing and banishing things out of your life. Now you can use it to cleanse anything in your life in any aspect, whether that be physical, mental, emotional or spiritual. So a couple of ideas might be if you've been exposed to a lot of toxins or if you're doing a detox, then you'd want to maybe meditate with polysite each day or each night. If you've gone through um, you know, a, a breakdown, maybe an emotional breakdown or um, a relationship breakdown and you really want to get rid of that heartbreak, then wearing and having polysite over your heart for a short period of time could be really quite powerful as well. So you, this is one that instead of kind of carrying it around for a whole day or wearing it all the time, you'd go for just like 10 minute bursts, so real concentrated. And one thing you do want to make sure after you've been working with polysite, just when we're trying to detox anything out of our lives, we want to drink a lot of water. So some people have worked with this and kind of had it for too long and felt kind of totally drained um, and or just totally kind of wiped out, this is where we definitely want to make sure we're only using it for a small period of time and with that water as well. Um, to, what I have found and what other people have found is you tend to feel this kind of sucking energy and it may be sucking through the head, it may be sucking through the toes or even sucking through the heart. So work out where the kind of hurt or whatever you want to get rid of in your life is near you and maybe hold it there, meditate it there, place it there and this can be a really powerful way of ripping it out and throwing it far far away from you to never return. If you practice any type of crystal healing, then it's going to be really great to have polysite in your collection. This is going to help to remove any energy blocks that are stopping the healing from being 100% effective. So maybe the person who's on the table receiving the healing has got a blockage and that energy is not going in there. Or maybe what's happening is you're finding problems with not being able to know where exactly to send the energy. This will help to clear out any blockages and also bring real clarity. It can actually be paired with other crystals to help direct the energy exactly where it needs to go, whether that be crystal energy, essential oil energy, or just you're practicing anything like hands-on healing or Reiki. Really powerful in that type of way. Now if you'd like to call in and work with the angelic realms in your healing or just in your everyday life, polysite's also going to help to bring them to help you cleanse and get rid of what doesn't serve you in the life and bring more clarity as well. If you find that you're struggling to really connect with either a guardian angel or just any of the angels in the angelic realm, then working with polysite, maybe with an angelic crystal like angelite, celestite, dambrite, angel aura quartz, seraphonite, any of those kind of ones um, will be really good for helping to get out, you know, clear the rubbish and bring in that angelic influence. Whether you do need it for healing for yourself, for other people, or just for your general guidance throughout the day, or, you know, working out what to do with your life or anything we use the angelic realms for and hey you can use them for anything with its brilliant white or clear color polysite is a great crystal to work with with the soul star chakra now the soul star chakra is about 30 centimeters above our head above our crown whereas our crown chakra is to do with your one-on-one -on -one relationship with your spirituality and what you're meant to be doing here on this planet your soul star chakra stretches out these tendrils out into the universe and connects you with all that is was and shall ever be so that you can feel that big sense of oneness and also draw on that energy draw on that wisdom and that guidance so if you're having any problems where there's a bit of blockage in that energy 
energy center and you don't you don't feel connected to the universe at all then this is where polysight can be really great try meditating with it about 30 centimeters above the head visualizing a white or a pearlescent kind of energy ball there reaching out with these big tendrils out into the universe and drawing that connection in it's a beautiful thing to do at night especially when you can see the stars or around the full moon to really get that connection with that celestial energy Although not well known at the moment, I feel polysite would be a really great crystal for the time that we're in right now. Polysite really helps any type of transition and I feel we're going from some big transitions in the way we eat, the way we elect leaders, the type of people we want to spend time with, the way we approach and embrace other people and become more accepting of other people and all those types of things. And polysite helps us clear out all those blockages that stops those transitions actually happening. It also helps us to have that clarity of where where we're heading and to see a bit more vision. It is really good for taking out any blockages that stop peace happening. And as we try and find peace between, you know, different groups of people or different nations, polysite can be used really powerfully to help get out whatever those things are stopping. When we try and have global climate um, conferences and we, we the nations can't agree on different things, start meditating with polysite, sending that clearing energy so that we can all see a clear path towards the future together. In in the same direction and a positive direction. So this is a beautiful crystal to use in your own meditations, in your own crystal grids whenever you're projecting that out to creating a world that we want to be in. There are different obstacles that are standing in the way and it takes time for those obstacles to be knocked down one after one after one. Polysite can help to speed that process so we start knocking them down really quickly and we can start to transition into a really powerful life. Now this can be used on a global scale as I've been talking about but also for you as well if you're ready to make a change in your life but you feel that there's obstacles blocking the way whether it be financial, other people, confidence, skills, whatever that may be. Bring Polysite into your life and ask it to clear those blockages out so that you can move smoothly through any transition. Whenever I'm working with crystals, I bring in other gifts of nature to really harmonize and bring up and boost the power of whatever crystal I'm using. Now, polysite's a pretty powerful crystal already, so we don't need to boost it too much, but let me give you a couple of other powerful allies that it resonates really nicely with. First of all, I love to work with polysite and yarrow essential oil. Yarrow essential oil is part of the chamomile family. Um, it's beautiful and blue. It's part of the shimazuline that forms when you distill it from these beautiful white flowers. And one of the key powers of yarrow essential oil is it's very purging. We can use that for our physical body, but also emotionally as well. It purges and brings back balance. It actually works really well with Archangel Michael, and you could use polysite for Michael as well. So whenever you are ready to get rid of the old and get that out of your life, Polysite and Yarrow are a really good pairing. Now the animal that I bring in, remember I talked about this being associated with um, Pollux before, and he was a god of horse. And so the animals that I connect actually with um, polysite is the horse. Now you can't take away the freedom of a horse, you can't take away its power. Even, you know, you, we can kind of tame a dog or a cat, but a horse always has that wild essence and wild side to it. It's very much about teaching us to embrace our freedom and never be trapped into anything. Polysite helps us to do the same. So that connection between polysite and bringing in that horse energy can be really powerful. Now normally when I talk to you about a crystal, I'll link it to a different planet at asteroid, but Pollux and Castor were actually immortalized in the sky as the constellation of Gemini. And so if you're working with Polysite, really connect when, the, um, when you can see the constellation of Gemini in the sky. Maybe the moon, is, the full moon is in um, Gemini. That would be an amazingly powerful time to work with uh, Polysite as well. So this can be a great crystal for that. Um, plus, if you need a power day, what day of the week would it be best for? Well, because Gemini is ruled by Mercury, Mercury rules Wednesday, so the power day for this crystal would be Wednesday. So if you happen to get a full moon on a, in Gemini on a Wednesday, that is the day to start getting rid of what it doesn't serve you and working with your polysite. So polysite is this really rare crystal and if you have got some, I'd love to hear about your experiences with it because it is such an intense crystal. What's happened for you? What's been good? What's been bad? How can we all learn from your experience? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.